Have you ever found yourself attempting to pen down thoughts, emotions, and perspectives that aren't inherently your own? The art of writing from another's point of view is a skill that can add depth, diversity, and intrigue to your literary works. It's a journey into another's mind, a venture that requires empathy, understanding, and a dash of creativity. First and foremost, it's crucial to define who this other is. This character, this voice that you're channeling, needs to be as real to you as possible. Dive deep into their personality, their background, their dreams, and their fears. Understand their motivations and their quirks. The more fleshed out this character is in your mind, the more authentic their voice will be on paper. Next, you need to step into their shoes. See the world through their eyes. This doesn't mean just understanding their perspective, but living it. Imagine how they would react to certain situations, how their past experiences would shape their decisions, and how their dreams and fears would color their perception. This is where empathy plays a crucial role. Then it's time to translate this understanding into words. Remember, every person has a unique way of expressing themselves. Their vocabulary, their tone, their sentence structure, all these elements should reflect their personality. A rebellious teenager would speak differently from a seasoned war veteran. So pay close attention to the language you use when writing from another's point of view. Lastly, practice makes perfect. Writing from another's perspective is a skill that improves over time. The more you do it, the better you'll get at capturing the nuances of different personalities and perspectives. To sum up, writing from another's point of view involves four key steps. First, define your character in detail. Understand who they are, where they come from, and what drives them. Second, step into their shoes. Live their experiences, feel their emotions, and see the world from their perspective. Third, translate this understanding into words. Use language that reflects your character's personality and perspective. And finally, practice. Keep writing, keep experimenting, and keep improving. So the next time you pick up your pen or sit down at your keyboard, consider venturing out of your comfort zone. Explore a new perspective, dive into a new mind, and you might just uncover a new depth to your writing that you never knew existed.